Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Julie and I am so excited to bring you a brand new series for a brand new year. I'm so happy to present the Awkward Space series. This series was born out of the hundreds of comments that I read and reply to weekly. I began to see a common pattern emerge and it's the fact that most of you feel like there's something awkward about your home. It could be a long narrow room, weird windows, sloped ceilings, or it could be an open concept floor plan that you don't know how to lay out the furniture to maximize your space. Whatever your issue, the common theme is that it's just plain awkward. I'll be breaking the series up into a few different categories based on the most popular comments that I receive on my channel. I want to dive into detail and make each video about one specific topic so it'll be easier for you to reference and see examples so you can find solutions for your own home. The goal is to help you understand your space, use it to your advantage, and creatively come up with viable solutions no matter what size of your space the shape of the room, or the budget that you're dealing with. We'll be starting this series with one of the most popular issues that most of you have, that awkward corner fireplace. You wrote in with your comments and I am reading them all. Here are the most common dilemmas that most of you have. Where to put the TV, how to lay out the furniture, what to do with the walls beside the fireplace, some have windows, some have passageways, some are huge blank walls, and some are tiny little dead ends. The most common question is where do I put the TV? Most homes are not blessed with a built-in cabinet right next to a corner fireplace that makes the furniture plan seem a little bit more obvious. These images show beautiful built-ins of all sizes so you know exactly where to place the TV. Clearly, it's on the adjacent wall within the confines of the built-in cabinetry. The TV above the fireplace is an absolute no-no in my book. I mean, you might have seen from my previous videos on my top common design mistakes when you place a TV over a fireplace. Now, why is this not advised? It's mainly because the viewing angle of a television above a typical mantle is too high to be ergonomically comfortable. You've heard me say that the TV should be mounted 65 inches AFF before. And while that is true for larger living spaces where the sofa is pulled back from where the TV is mounted, the truth is most of us live in smaller living spaces. Anywhere between 45 inches to 55 inches is really what you should be aiming for. If you have a corner fireplace, consider placing the TV on the adjacent wall, whether it's mounted or it's sitting right above a credenza, a buffet, or a dresser or console of some sort. If you mount the television, make sure that you mount it on a swivel mount so that you have complete control of the viewing angle. Which wall do you place it on? Is it to the left or the right? If you have a window or a passageway on one of the adjacent walls, clearly you want to place the TV on the other wall. Jasmine Clark commented, 
I have been wanting to redo our family room for a while now, but couldn't figure out the best way to maximize the space. The family kitchen has a weird layout. The fireplace is in a corner. One wall adjacent to the fireplace has a window, and the other adjacent wall has a window and a sliding door to the patio. If you have two windows, pick the window with the less optimum view and place the television on a low TV console so you can still enjoy the view past the television. I'll be showing you a few different setups so you see all of the limitless possibilities. You could angle the longest sofa so that it's parallel to the fireplace and not the television. You can angle the seating group. Here you see two facing sofas perpendicular to the fireplace. Or you can angle a sectional facing both the fireplace and the television. My favorite seating group for rooms with a corner fireplace is a sectional. Now why is that? When you have a corner fireplace and you install the TV or mount it on the wall adjacent to the fireplace, a sectional allows you two vantage points to enjoy both focal points. You may be watching the television from the longest side of the sectional and enjoying that cozy fireplace on the shorter side. If the fireplace is more of a priority for you, then you can face the longest side of that sectional facing the fireplace and the shorter end facing the television. If you choose a sofa instead of a sectional, keep the same principles in mind. The longest sofa in the space should be facing the focal point that you prioritize, either the fireplace or the television. If you have room, place a pair of accent chairs, a single chair, or even a settee in front of the window that is adjacent to the fireplace so that seating group can enjoy the view outside. It can even enjoy the warmth of the fireplace and still engage with the sofas that are placed to watch the television. If you don't have deep enough space for chairs in front of the windows, a simple console will do. Here are a few guidelines to follow if you're still a little confused with your living room layout. Never cover the fireplace. If you want to place a chair nearby, keep the profile slim or low or easy to move to pull closer to the fireplace to read a book or even surf your phone. Never block a passageway or doorway. You need a minimum 36 inch clearance in front of the walkway for egress so you don't block the doors with furniture. On the other hand, don't be afraid to put furniture right in front of the windows next to a fireplace. Treat the windows like another wall, albeit with a really fabulous view. You will still have seating opposite these chairs, so there's an opportunity to enjoy the view outside. Now that you understand your conditions, let's play a little game of where would the TV go. These are all living spaces with a corner fireplace and no TVs. You can see that there are multiple ways for you to configure your space. I'll be showing you a few rooms with a corner fireplace and no television. If you don't have a television in your living room and don't plan to put one there, pay attention to how the furniture is laid out so you can see if it works in your space. However, if you are to put a television in any of these rooms, let's see if you can guess where the best location might be. Let's start with this brick lined loft. You'll see that there's a corner fireplace with two adjacent walls of windows. There's a sectional that's angled away from the fireplace and a low loungy day bed that's facing the fireplace. Now where would the TV go? If you guessed on the low console, clearly you're right. It's a little bit obvious in this space since there's already a surface space to put the television. 
If you have a space with multiple walls of windows, just pick an elevation of a window and place a TV on a console right in front of it. Next, we have this lofty living room with high ceilings, a corner fireplace, and two walls of windows. The challenge is that there's a passageway on the third wall and no fourth wall as it opens up into an adjacent space. This is why I love a sectional for a room with a corner fireplace. You can see that the sectional enjoys both views coming out of the windows and that cozy fireplace. Now, if you put a TV in this room, where would the TV go? Luckily, there's a solid wall right next to the passageway, so I would place the TV there. Next, we have this smaller living room with a corner fireplace and one single sofa. Where would the TV go in this room? Well, clearly there's windows behind the sofa, so you have two solid walls to work with. The wall that's facing the sofa or the other wall beside it. In this case, you would place the TV right in front of the sofa. But if you wanted to place the TV where this piece of artwork is, I would just pull the club chair up closer to the seating group so at least one person can enjoy a full frontal angle of the television. Lastly, we have this loft space that almost looks like a secondary living room. This room has a cornered angle fireplace. On one adjacent wall is an elevation of three small, tall windows, and on the other wall is built-in cabinetry with an open passage on top. The seating group is facing the windows and facing the fireplace. Now where would the TV go? Would you put it in front of the stairway or would you put it in front of the windows? I would put the television in front of the windows and here's why. When you're seated at the sofa, you can enjoy both the television and the fireplace. The only difference in this space is that I would probably source a lower TV console so you're not blocking the windows and it's an optimum viewing angle for the height of the television in relation to where you're seated in the space. Here are a few other examples of floor plans for rooms without a television and that awkward corner fireplace. I want you to see the multitude of ways that you can place your seating so it works to your advantage. I feel like the corner fireplace actually opens up your room, gives you so many endless options for different layouts after you determine the function of your space. I want you to remember that for every challenge that you face in interior design, there's an equally smart and savvy solution waiting for you to uncover. Mess around with the configurations, move your furniture around. I mean, have fun with it. It's just interiors. Nothing is permanent and you can always change your mind. I look at it as the more you get it wrong, you'll be one step closer to finally getting it right. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and you are just as excited about the Awkward Space series as I am. Comment below and let me know if you have an awkward space in your home that you want me to cover in this series. And also let me know all the fun creative ways you resolve the issue of a corner fireplace in your home. Share this video if you know anyone struggling with fireplace issues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell to get notified of new videos that we roll out every Tuesday on our channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.